I shoot a lot of headshots. And one of the things that I like to do when I'm retouching them is to make sure that the catch lights match in both eyes. Now you don't have to do this. It's just one of the things that I like to do. And since I do it a lot, I've developed a really quick and easy way to fix it in Photoshop. And I'm gonna show you in under three minutes. So start the timer. I've got my file now opened up in Adobe Photoshop and you can see between the, the eyes that the catch light's a little bit different with each one. It's slightly more obscured. Sometimes that's because of the way that the eyelids sit in the eyeball shape of the face. It's who knows, but they're not always the same. But I like these to match. And so the first thing I'm gonna do is create a new layer. So you can go to layer, new layer, or you can just hit the new layer button in the layers palette, name it whatever you want, call it catch light call it my favorite layer. I don't care. It's your picture. You can do whatever you want. Then I'm going to grab the clone stamp tool over here from the menu. You can also hit the S key on your keyboard and then make sure that you're in a normal blend mode at hundred percent opacity and that all layers is selected. Unless you're working with a file where you've already got a ton of layers going, all layers means that you're going to select whatever you have to be looking at on the screen, regardless of what layer you actually have selected in the layers palette. So then I'm going to uh, make sure that I've got a nice soft round brush and I'm going to hold down the option key and I'm going to put it right in the middle of the pupil there and I'm going to grab it. And now I should have a pretty good copy of that eyeball ready to go and move it over to the other one. So I'm going to try and line that up as best I can. Don't worry if you don't get it perfect right now. That's why it's on its own layer. We can mess with it later. Now I'm going to take that eye and I'm going to make it invisible by putting it behind a hide all layer mask that we can paint through only the stuff that we want. Easiest way to do that is to go to layer and you're going to go to layer mask and then you're going to go hide all. And now that layer is invisible, but it's still there. All you have to do is select your brush tool, make sure that you're on white and you can just hit D for default and then X to switch back and forth between foreground and background colors. But hitting D on the keyboard will give you your default setting of black and white as your foreground and background paintbrush colors. So then I'm going to paint right where I need to with that white brush on that black hide all layer to bring in that catch light that I want. Boom. And now it should be good to go. And I'm just gonna make it invisible and visible just to see if I need to nudge it a little bit. So select that item and I nudge it over and down a little bit with my arrow keys just to make sure that it's in a good place. Now, lastly, I will reduce the opacity of that layer probably to about 85%, maybe 90%, just because I don't want it to be exactly as bright as the other catch light. Just a little bit dimmer because in this case, it's on the shadow side of the face. It's a little further away from the light and I think it looks just a little bit more natural. So I'm gonna flatten the layer, take a look at that. And then we should have good looking catch light in both eyes without too much trouble. Piece of cake, right? Hopefully that tutorial was really helpful. You can like this video, subscribe to the channel if you already don't, because I'm going to bring you more stuff like this. Leave me a comment, let me know what you thought, and maybe suggest a topic for another video. You can also catch me every week on the Photobomb Photography Podcast with my good friend Boo Ray Perry. I'll put a link to the podcast and his YouTube channel in the description of this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.